Hey, thank you for coming back. Um, I'm a little rough around the edges today. I, me and my other half had a, a nice night with half a bottle of vodka each. Um, and I'm far too old for that kind of rubbish. <laughs> so I'm using the Alvanity's Hema Free Monoma today and also the Core Powders um, Blushed and Lizard White. Also that is a size 12 nail vanity brush. I, in my madness today, decided I was going to do smile lines. Why? Why? And why film it? I'm, I'm a beginner. Why? <laughs> but still, hey. So that's what I did. Um, I've stuck with the silicon hand and the pop-ons that you use with it. I haven't used a form because you have to hold it on and I think I've got enough to do with trying to concentrate on smile lines. I do normally like to do a longer nail but that's not to be today. So I'm just buffing the tops to take, take the shine off. I will speed past the boring bits because they're all of the nails the same. You don't want to see it all over and over again. So I'm just trying to prop that hand so that the nail points down. Burping my brush to get rid of those bubbles. And I'm going to start with my core blushed. Just waiting for that mo that um, acrylic to look right. I can't describe what I mean by that. It just means it won't run everywhere. Cleaning my brush off and getting right behind. Um, sorry about that. My phone. Right behind the acrylic with my brush to make sure that I'm not flooding cuticles and sidewalls. And this is where I start to shape my uh, smile. So I'm using my brush to push the acrylic into position. Um, it won't be 100% accurate, I will file it, and it won't because I'm new. So a little bit closer view, you can see me patting and pressing and using different parts of my brush there just to get the, the acrylic into some sort of shape. Um, yeah, I'm sure those of you that have been doing it a lot longer do it a lot quicker and a lot more accurately, but you know, gotta start somewhere. Yeah, before you file them, they look hideous. They look an absolute train wreck. Um, <laughs> but still, hey. Because you've got to build that wall, and I don't like chunky nails. So, uh, yes, they look chunky. So again, waiting for that to be the right consistency. So it's not flooding everywhere, getting right into the side walls, behind the cuticle area with my brush, and then I'm starting to, I have sped this up, I'm really not that quick as you've seen from my other video, videos. <laughs> yeah, just shaping that with my brush, I use the end of my brush, I use the belly of my brush, the side of my brush, any part of my brush that I can get make a nice shape and I also look back at the nail before quite a lot to make sure that I my smile is of a similar size and in the right position to hopefully get some continuity gorgeous colour that The Hema Free Monoma that I'm using for this set has virtually no odour. 
So for those of us who have partners with sensitive noses, perfect. And obviously being humour free it's, uh, it's better anyway. Cleaning up the beautiful area there, and I'm patting and pressing and pushing that um, acrylic down the nail until it's at the right point. Needed a bit more. I'm feathering it back so you don't get any marbling, although I don't think you do with this product anyway. Again, checking the nail before. You can see how buttery it is actually, can't you, in this? You see how nice the product is. So I'm just checking now that it's set and I'm going in to refine those smile lines with a file um, and then a metal file just to try and get them a little bit sharper. They won't be perfect because I'm new, like I said, but I'm trying my best. And I don't mind showing if it's imperfect because I'm growing and learning and I think you know we all got it we've all got to start somewhere. It's good to see that not everybody's perfect as well, you know. There's so many video videos out there and don't get me wrong, I've learned so much from YouTube and all the fantastic people on there, but there are a lot of very perfect nail techs who I you know aspire to be like but it's also nice to see the contrast isn't it they're not so perfect but trying <laughs> oh look at that lovely bit bit of acrylic on my nail so I'm pushing that white up the nail to where um, the start of the shape of the smile line is um, that we created with uh, blushed. I'm pushing it in there so that hopefully we get a nice crisp line at the point of filing. At this point they look horrendous, they look chunky and ugly and bleh. But I stuck with it. Didn't, didn't give up and I won't give up. I don't like chunky nails. I do not like thick nails. So I'm just wetting that now just to make sure that the uh, acrylic does stick. Drain in the liquid after the back of the brush because the white will run everywhere if you're not careful. Any white, that is. But walking up the side there with the tip of my brush. And again, on the other side. I'm trying to make sure that the sides are at the same height both sides of the nail and throughout the nails so you haven't got one shorter than the other. I am press, pushing and pressing that um, acrylic up against that wall trying to avoid any shadowing and because these are core powders we don't need to cap because the strength is already there. Missed a bit there, obviously. There we go. These silicon hands are fantastic in that they look so lifelike, but they're heavy. I wish I had gone for one where you push the nails in rather than um, stick 
the nails on because when I'm filing these they pop off they pop off everywhere and I don't want to use uh, any more glue that I'm than I'm using because then I'll take the silicon off um, so yeah you've got to kind of hold the fi hold the file hold the nail hold the hand because they're quite heavy and try and sort of get some shape going but they do look good and uh, this one's far better than and some I just wish I had in hindsight I'd have got one with uh, the pushing nail in my brush we'll pop, it, pop everything away and hey I'm just debulking so I've sped this up because it's really boring so I'm just taking the bulk off and revealing that smile, hoping that it's sharp. This is not shaping at all because they desperately need shaping. Um, side walls, making sure they're nice and straight and crisp. This hand did not want to stay where I wanted it today. You'll see again in a minute, it rolls off and it does its own thing. <laughs> I had nails popping off, I don't know whether that's, I've kept that in or not, but they popped off and had to glue them back on. And There we go, cleaning it all up after filing and filing and then buffing just refining that shape on that nail obviously I wasn't very happy doesn't the dust get everywhere So acetone now on some lint-free wipes just to rub over the nail and uh, hopefully get rid of any scratches caused by the filing. It lets me see if I've missed anything and it needs to go like that bit there obviously. And like I said they're not perfect but you know I've practiced today is a good thing which means tomorrow hopefully would be a better day so they're not too bad small lines are nice and crisp shape could be better but they're not too bad. I'm going to pop some um, top coat on and take a little photograph for you. And uh, Just a thank you really for watching me again. I am new to all this malarkey. Um, this is a different camera setup to last time. Um, I, I've got a new light, I've put a camera up instead of a webcam so hopefully I can get in a little bit closer but I am just getting used to this and this editing malarkey as well, a video. Um, I've never edited a video in my life. Um, and so I just want to say thank you for joining me and hopefully you'll stick around for another couple of videos to come. Thank you.